Hello, boys and girls. Are you surprised to see me? Crystal's not here this week. She's taking a day off, so today I'm going to do a gymnastics class with you guys. If you don't remember who I am, my name is Coach Ted. Uh, if you are scared of me, I cannot jump through your camera screen and get you. So, this can be fun. Uh, moms and dads, feel free to participate as well today if you want to feel physically fit or maybe just laugh at me rolling around in my living room. Before we get started, there's just a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, first one, I'm going to read off our advisory, making sure that we are covered by Gymnastics Nova Scotia and insurance. This will also come up on the screen later on, but just to cover our own bases so nobody gets hurt during our quarantine gymnastics adventure. So, as follows. All actions and movements shown in this presentation follow a skill and progression-based model of learning, subject to the Gymnastics Canada LTAD and sanctioned by Gymnastics Nova Scotia. The material found within is general in basis and does not take into account individuals' needs or limitations. Anyone who applies this risk, uh, pardon me, applies this program on their own does so at their own risk. So keep that in mind. I will be making sure we do everything as safe as possible, but mums and dads, please use your discretion if something does not work in your environment at home. All right, before we get started, there are a few things, very basic, that we need today. Uh, you may have to get crafty like I did. I did not have the supplies, so I was not going to run out and get them, but you need four sheets of paper. Pretty simple. I use some old ones from something I've been doing, and I need a red colored paper. I need a yellow. I need a green, and I need a blue. We are going to use these a little bit later, so you can take time now to grab them if you want. They do not have to be papers. Feel free to use face cloths, fabric, whatever you have around that is these four colors, but we will be playing a little bit of a game. All right, girls and boys, are you ready? We're going to do a little stretch to get started, okay? If you need to get a drink right now, now will be the time. We're going to give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're off. Hi, boys and girls. It's time for our stretch. Are you ready? All right, we're going to start by squatting real down low. I'm going to disappear. This is my dog, Wally. He's probably not going to help today. He's just going to get in the way. All right, so we're going to start way down low. And we're going to reach way up high and back down again. Are you ready? We're going to reach way up high and back down again. We're going to do it two more times. Are you ready? We're going to go way up and way back down. And one more. Way up and back down. And you guys can actually do one more while I move the camera so you can see me. Oh, all right. Keep going. Keep going. And we're going to sit down on our bones. All right. Okay. Well, he's going to go to his bed. All right. We're going to make our tuck shape. Who remembers that? That's where you hold your knees up to your chest and you're round like a ball. All right. We're going to walk our toes way out, way out in front of us. Way out, we make our, what shape do you remember this one is called? It's called a pike. All right, so you're going to reach your toes. Sorry, these are your fingers. Way up high and wiggle your toes. And we're going to reach down and see if we can give our little legs a great big grab. Grab a hold of your toes. I hope you have a dog that's here helping you too. Ah, she's not very helpful. All right, now let's see if we can reach way up once more. Way up. And then way down and grab your toes. And see, anybody give those knees a kiss? Oh, stop it. We're going to see if we can go and give ourselves... And our knees a great big kiss. Are you ready? Go. Oh, that stretches. And two. Oh, that stretches a lot. All right, give those legs a nice little shake. Make sure your toes are all wiggled. All right, perfect. Let's take out some people. Two little people on our fingers. And let's see if we can make them walk all the way down. All the way down to our toes. Can you reach them? Right back down to your toes. And then right back. They got scared. Oh, dear. And let's reach out once more. Way out. Crawling out. Crawling out, and way back once more. Oh my goodness. All right, let's crawl one more time. This time they're going to go down, and they're going to sit right on the ends of your toes. All right, we're going to sit on your toes. They're going to stand on your toes. They're going to jump off of your toes. Ready? We're going to go one, two, three, and jump off the edge. Oh, they went all the way down. Can you give those knees a kiss once more? Go mwah, mwah. All right, good job. Give your legs a nice shake. Shake them out, and we're going to move them way out to the sides. Way out. And what shape is this? This is our... Travel shape. So our legs are nice and straight, knees are flat to the ground, and our legs and toes are way out to the sides. All right, now, let's see if we can reach up high again. This time we're going to go side to side like a big rainbow, so back and forth. 
all back and forth like a big rainbow, all the way back and forth. Whoa. Whoa, maybe wave around. What colors are in a rainbow? Do you guys know? What about red? Or green? Or maybe yellow? Or purple and pink? I don't remember. I haven't seen the sun in days. All right, now that we've warmed up our rainbow, can you put your hands in the middle? And we're going to crawl them out as far as you can go. Crawl them out. Crawl them out. Keep those legs straight. Reach down to the ground. Try to scoop up what's on the ground to get anything. And come back. That was tricky. All right, let's try it again. This time we're going to take our nose and try to touch it to the floor. Are you ready? Reach down, 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 and touch your nose on the ground. Ready? Woo! I missed. I got to stretch more. Let's see if maybe we can get it on one of our knees. See if you can touch your nose to your knee. Ready? And boop! Got it. And then let's try the other side. Ready? And boop! Got it. All right. And now we're going to do one more stretch in our straddle. I want to see if you guys know this secret. Did you know inside of your knees there are tiny little people that live there? I know, crazy. And if you're really quiet, sometimes you can hear them talking. So if you lean down, lean down to your knee and listen, keep it straight. Can you hear anyone? Let's listen. Whoop! did you hear anything? Maybe nobody's home there today. Let's check the other knee. All right, let's go over and listen. Listen. Whoop! did you hear anything? What was it? Really? Oh my goodness, amazing. All right, let's give those knees a shake. Shake them out and bring our toes in towards ourselves. And we'll drop our knees out to the sides. And we have, what shape is this today? You flap your wings. It's a butterfly. Let's see, we can fly around. Way out, way out, flap them around. Has anyone seen any butterflies outside yet? It's almost warm enough for butterflies. I've seen some flowers and butterflies like flowers. Let's see if we can make that butterfly really big. Put your hands on your knees and stretch it out. Stretch it way out and then reach down. You can't see my toes, but they're wiggling right now. But can anybody reach down and pinch their nose close with their toes? Wally's going to try to pinch my nose. Ready? Pinch your nose with your toes. Pinch your nose with your toes. One more time. And pinch your nose with your toes. Oh, my goodness. Do you have smelly toes today? Do you? Oh, if you have smelly toes, get rid of them. Flick them way outside, really far away. Oh. All right, Wally, go to your bed. Go, go. All right, we're going to see if we can warm up our wrists today. All right, we're going to wiggle them around like a creature that lives in the sea. The sea is a jellyfish. Let's see if we can be a jellyfish wiggling our wrists around. Wiggle like a jellyfish. Wiggle like a jellyfish. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And now let's see. Jellyfish have friends. Those friends are called fish. So let's put our fingers together and let's see if we can swim around like some fish. Swim, swim, swim. I can't wait for summertime, but maybe we'll get to go swimming. Oh, swim around. And where do fish and jellyfish live? They live in the sea. So let's cross our fingers together and see if we can make some waves. Waves, waves, ashy, splashy waves. Ooh, and now dry off. I forgot a towel, so shake your hands off. Shake them off to one side, shake them to the other. Shake them all off your head. Woo, all dried off. All right, we're almost done our stretching. Are you guys ready to do some more gymnastics? I certainly am. All right, stay tuned. All right, here we go with our first activity. This is the one that maybe moms and dads will have to help you with a little bit, and we need those colored papers we talked about earlier. All right, so I'm going to, parents, take my blue color and put it in the front right-hand side, front right. Green is going to go front left. Yellow, back right, and red back left. All right, so what we're going to do today with our toes is when I call out a color, I need you to touch it with your toes as fast as you can. All right, we'll go slow at the start. All right, so if I say blue, I want you to reach out and touch the blue with your toe. All right, what if I say green? It's over here. Touch the green and bring back to the middle. All right, what if I say yellow? Touch it and back. So as fast as you can, we're going to get faster. What about the red one? Touch the red one. There it is. All right, are you guys ready to go quick? I might mix you up. What if we say blue, green, oh, red, red again, yellow. Whew, that was hard. How are you guys doing? It's pretty tricky, right? We're going to keep going. Let's see, maybe we can do two at once. How would we do that? What if I say blue and green? Jump on and jump off. And what about green and yellow? Jump your feet apart and back together. Whew, this is getting harder. 
What about green and red? Wait over here. Jump and touch them. Then back to the middle. All right. I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna do three more. And then I'm gonna make this a little bit trickier for you. All right, so let's see if we can do yellow and blue. Over here. And jump back. And what about green and blue? Way in the front. And then back again. Ooh, maybe we'll get crisscross if we're gonna try green and yellow. Oh, and back. And then just yellow. Just blue. Red and green. And back. And then one more time, green and yellow. Oh, whew. all right. If you're tired like me, now will be the time to take a quick little sip from a drink. And we're going to try to play this game and make it even harder. All right, we're back. And now this time, girls and boys, we're going to use our hands and our feet. So maybe you can put the pictures a little bit closer together so you can reach them. But now we're going to try to put our hands and our feet on the different colored polka dots. Okay, are you ready? We'll start off slow again. Let's try to find the green one. Oh, there it is. And what about the yellow one? Got my toe on it. And back. And what about the blue? And red. And back again. See if you can mix up where you put your toes and your feet. Okay? All right. I'm pretty tall, so I'm going to move mine just part a little bit. And here I go. I'm ready. And green. Slid away, tried to chase me. And what about red and yellow? Whoa, jump both feet on and back. Now let's try a tricky blue and red combination with our feet. Whoa, and back. And now let's see if we can do green and red and back. And what about green and yellow? Oh, keep touching them. This is it's trickier. What about yellow and blue? They're over here. Let's try red and green. Oh, oh my goodness. It gets a little trickier when you have to use your hands, hey? All right, let's keep going. I think maybe I'm going to try to get my feet on green and blue. Whoa, jumped all the way. And back again. All right, now what if we try blue and red? Oh, got my hands on. If you can touch with your hands or your feet. I don't know if you can do this. It's pretty tricky. Let's see if we can try a green and a yellow. And now just blue. Oh, mix myself up. Just red. Just yellow. Oh, I missed. Yellow. Got it. And now you're green. Oh, and now this one's going to be extra tricky. Do you think you can do all four? Be careful doing this. Don't land on your face because I'm not there to laugh at you. One, two, three. Red, green, blue, and yellow. Oh, and back again. Oh, my goodness hotter my apartment than I thought. Wow, I hope you guys are working hard. We're going to make this even trickier. Give yourself a little shake. Shake out your muscles. Shake them out. Shake them out. All right. Now, who remembers their table shake? Remember that table? Sometimes you probably have breakfast on it. Well, we're going to make a table today. So you're going to put your belly button up high. And now we're going to see if we can put our hands and our feet on these different colors. Let's see if you can try to touch the red. Oh, and back. What about the yellow? And back. Now switch blue. Green. Ooh, what about blue and green? Jump. And back again. And then what about a red and green like Christmas? Oh, got it. And what about yellow and green? Hand and foot. Oh, we did it. And that was another one. Red and blue. Touch it. And back. You guys are doing great. Maybe you can go in a circle while you try it. Walk around in a circle and I'm going to say touch the red one. And what about green? And blue. And all the way around. Keep going until you see me again. In a circle. In a circle and touch. Yellow. Oh, oh my goodness. Now, we're going to play for one more minute. And you can choose this time to either stand up, go in your squat, or be a table. And I'm going to call them out and see if you guys can do it. Okay? Are you ready? Make sure your squares are all even. They're organized. Are you ready? And go green. Blue. Red and green. Blue and yellow. Red. Yellow and green. Blue. And one last one. Red, green, yellow, and blue. Go. All four. All right, girls and boys.
boys. Let's put away our colored squares. And now we're going to play another game called the freeze game. And I'm sure my dog Wally is not going to be very good at this. All right, so we're going to see. I just have a little carpet right here. See, I'll walk around it. It's not very big. So you don't need a lot of room to play this game. But you do have your listening ears off, okay? So when I say the magic word, freeze, you have to freeze like a statue. Do statues move? No. Statues don't move. They don't go anywhere. All right? So we're going to start with the first one. It's pretty easy. I want you to stay at one spot. We're going to run on the spot. Lift your knees up high. Knees up high. Lift them up. Lift them up. All right. And ready? And freeze. Don't move. One second. The mail is here. Okay. The mail is gone, so we can keep playing the freeze game. All right, let's try that jogging once more. Jogging on the spot. Lift your knees up high. Lift them up. Maybe move back and forth. Lift them up. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. And freeze. Whew. That was a tricky one. All right. Let's see if we can make that jogging a little harder. Maybe Wally can come up here and get out of the way. All right. We're going to put our knees up. And can you give your hands some high fives? Give your hands some knees. High five with your knees. High five. High knees. Way up high. Way up high. In a circle. Until you hear that magic word. Ready? <laughs> around and around and freeze. Oh my goodness. That was a tricky one. All right. We're going to keep moving around while he stop. All right. We're going to see if we can kick our bum while you're on the spot. Don't kick too hard, but we're going to kick our bum. Kick your feet up high. Kick them up. Around and around. Around, and I might say freeze at any time. Ooh, keep going. Let's kick our bum. Kick your bum. Oh my goodness, keep kicking. Don't kick the dog if you have one. And freeze. I told you all I wouldn't be good at this. All right, we're going to try another kind of moving around. I don't know if you can do this one. Can you go up on your tiptoes? You can't see my tiptoes, but I'm going to tiptoe around quiet. And freeze. Okay, now let's try tiptoeing backwards. Look where you're going. And tiptoe again backwards. And ready and freeze. Oh, 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 oh man. I tried to make a tiptoe statue and I fell over. Let's try that again. Let's tiptoe. Tiptoe around quiet. Tiptoe. And ready, tiptoe and. Freeze tiptoe statue. Oh, oh, tiptoe. Good job. All right, now if you can, we can make this one a little more bouncy. Let's see if we can do little bunny hops. Put our bunny ears on and hop like a bunny. Hop, 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 quiet. Bunny, 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 hop, hop, hop. And when you hear the freeze, don't move. Okay, be a bunny again. Bunny. Maybe some bunny arms. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Everywhere, hop. And freeze. Oh, oh. Now, I don't know if you can do this. Can anybody hop on one foot? Let's one leg up high and hop. Hop, hop. Oh, this is going to be tricky when I say freeze. Stay on one foot. Woo, woo. Ah, woo. That was tricky. Let's try again. Maybe hop on the other foot, hopping around. Hop, 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 hop around. Keep moving until you hear freeze. That was better. All right, we have one last moving around. This one's really hard. We're gonna try skipping. So you haven't skipped before. Put your hands on your hips. You're gonna try to skip on one foot and then the other. So hop on one foot. And then the other. Hop, 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 and freeze. Ooh, tricky. Let's keep going. Let's skip. I'm going to go the other direction. Skipping, 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 and freeze. Oh, my goodness. That was a hard one. All right, girls and boys, guess what time it is? Time for Coach Ted to get a drink. You guys have one minute. 
I'll be back. Okay? One minute. I'm back everyone. I got my drink. <sighs> Quarantine, am I right, parents? I'm joking, it's just water. All right, this time, boys and girls, we're gonna have to use our hands a little bit. And I want you to be extra, extra careful doing this today, okay? So make sure you look around. There's nothing you can bump into, all right? The first thing you're gonna do is take out some glue. Squeeze it on your hands. Squeeze it on. Mush it all in there, right between your fingers. Now let's glue our hands to the floor. All right? Are you ready? We're gonna turn into a donkey. Does anyone know, know what a donkey makes? What noise does it say? Woof. No, that's a dog. What about meow? No, that's a cat. Oh, my glue came undone. Uh oh. All right, let's put our hands on the ground and see if we can do a great big donkey kick. Remember, keep your arms super straight. Don't let them bend. And see if we can kick our toes up and down. Kick your toes up and down. Keep those hands glued to the ground. Are you ready? We're going to kick up really high this time. Kick up as high as you can, but don't tip over. Maybe moms and dads can help you. You're scared to fall over. Tip up, kick up, and back down. One more time, big kick up, and back down. Now I want to see you guys try it, okay? So I want to see, we're going to do five together, all right? And when I say one, we do a donkey kick. Are you ready? Get set. And one, big donkey kick. Two, big donkey kick. Three, big donkey kick. Here comes number four, big donkey kick. And number five, donkey kick. And sit down on your bum. Whew. <clears throat> Does anyone feel like a donkey now? I know I certainly do. All right, I'm gonna try one more donkey kick and you can do it too after all that practice. I bet you're better than me. Remember, hands glued to the floor, strong arms, and ready, kick your toes way up, whoa, and back down. That was a tricky one. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do, we might need a pillow for this one. I have a nice big pillow right here. I'm gonna put it right on the floor right on the floor, right in the middle where you can see it. Can you see it? It's on the ground. So we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna put them on the pillow. One, two, and then jump your toes all the way over to the other side. Okay, so let's try to go back the other way. Put our hands on, one, two, and kick our feet over, way around, Woo. All right, we're gonna try three more and then I'm gonna make it trickier. Are you ready? Hands on the pillow and jump your toes over. One, and then hands, jump, two, and one more, and three. All the way over, make sure you get right over that pillow like a puddle, okay? And now, we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna see if we can put our hands and feet on and land in our lunge shape. Who remembers their lunge? Remember we put one foot in front, bend our knee, make our back leg nice and straight, and put our arms up by our ears. You can't see my arms but they're straight up and down, like this. All right, so let's start on one side of the pillow. And we're gonna put our lunge together. So one foot in front, hands out, and reach the pillow and kick your toes over and make your lunge. Oh, I didn't straighten my back knee. Oh no, I haven't done cartwheels in a while. I bet you're better at this than I am. Let's try a couple more. Hands on and kick over and your lunge. Oh, so tricky. Now let's try one more. Oh, I'm gonna kick my dog. I gotta wait. And kick your toes over and back. So you gotta watch for things. See, I can't kick him. He'll fall over. Back and forth. We're trying our little mini cartwheels like a puddle jump. Good job. Let's try three more boys and girls and I'll watch. Are you ready? And go. Number one. Kick those toes over. And remember, big lunge. And back down. Okay, are you ready? Don't fall over. Here comes number two. Whoa, that one was super high, I bet. I hope you didn't fall. And we have one more we're gonna 
gonna try. Are you ready? Armor. Great big lunge to start. Bend your knee. Put your back leg straight. Arm down front and reach them down by dog while you're trying to help and kick your feet all the way over and make a lunge and breathe. Good job, girls and boys. All right, that was awesome. Okay, I hope you can see me way back here. We have one more thing we're gonna try today before we're done our gymnastics class at home, okay? And make sure you ask mom or dad first if you can do this, because we have to use the couch. All right, now this one's gonna be pretty tricky. Make sure there's no coffee table in the way. Let's see, I'm gonna put my knees on the couch first and my hands on the floor. That's pretty easy, right? Now let's see if you can walk sideways all the way to one side. Oh, and back again. All the way over. All the way. Keep those arms strong. Wow. Could you guys do that? That was pretty hard for me. I'm really out of shape. I should probably stop sitting on the couch. All right. If you can do that, I'm going to make it a little bit harder, okay? So let's put our hands back on the floor. But this time, instead of our knees, we're going to go up on our feet. And let's see if you can walk sideways. Whoa. Sideways. Oh my goodness. And back again. All the way over. Be careful. And come down. Wow. I'm tired again. I think we probably can do that once more. Are you getting big muscles in your arms now? You can't see mine. Because they're gone. But I hope yours are there. Alright, let's make those muscles work once more. We'll put our hands on the ground. Let's lift our feet up on the ground on the couch. And walk sideways. Oh my goodness. All the way back. Over. And down. Whew. Wowee, that was tough. Okay, girls and boys, this is our last thing we're going to do today. And we have to make sure we ask moms and dads if it's safe. If it's not, you can do this somewhere else. Maybe you can try it when you go outside and play. But we're going to try one great big somersault on the couch. Now, boys and girls, do you think you should do somersaults on the couch when you're not doing gymnastics? No. Only when it's time for gymnastics class, okay? And maybe moms and dads, you can stand beside the couch and help everybody out. Once again, if you find this part too difficult, skip right over it and you can be finished for the day. But we're going to start in our squat. Hands in front. Make sure your chin is attached to your chest. It's your best friend. You're going to look at your belly button. You're going to lift your legs up high, look for your belly button, and jump over! Oh my goodness! I did it! Hooray! Okay, girls and boys, I think that's it for the day. Let's come off the couch and we can be all finished our gymnastics. I hope you guys had fun today with me instead of Coach Crystal. I hope nobody cried when they saw me on camera. And I'll see you guys again in a couple weeks when I have an extra special video planned for you.